Wagwan well, internet. I forgot to do the hand. <laughs> Wagwan well, internet. This is delete history. I'm obviously no vlogger. I'm twice the prescribed age. Don't have the barnet, and I lack that certain perkiness. However, I am cheap. But as you've clicked on this video, you obviously want to know how to vlog. So I'll tell you what I know. I've looked into the biggest vlogging channels in the world to find out what makes them so darn popular. And I've picked out key things that you can replicate to make your own vlog an absolute views machine. I've scoured YouTube and I've watched no less than six vlogs. So you can be sure that I know exactly what I'm talking about. Seven tips, let's go. Number one. Production. Even if you have a million pound budget and a team of trained monkeys like I do here, a bedroom backdrop is always best. I said a bedroom backdrop is always best. Next, make sure you're looking straight down the lens for maximum feels and engagement. None of that second camera, colorful filter MTV rubbish. Finally on production, jump cuts are your friend. The more the merrier in fact. And don't forget this cool edit trick where the voice has moved on, but the edit hasn't. Two. Have a unique intro. Jack, can you put quotation marks around unique? Hello! Uh, yes, hello Marcus. A unique intro or catchphrase can be a great way to distinguish yourself from those fresh faced poster boys for Brill Cream. Eventually, you'll be able to slap it on a t-shirt, but more on that later. Number three, name your tribe. Nothing quite seals the bond of a growing fandom than a cutesy nickname. Here are a few sterling examples I found. How's it going bros? My name is PewDiePie! During my research, I found a YouTube fandom quiz and somehow managed to score 91%. Weird. What should we call you lot? Let us know in the comments below. Number four, talk about important issues. Yes, important issues. So my girlfriend has so many different beauty products. And today I'm going to be talking to you about Instagram. I'm trying to get a girlfriend. I've been single for a long time now. Well, issues that are important to you at least, and that will help you with our next tip. Number five, be authentic. Yes, this is me, the real me. I'm this cockney, I get away with dressing like this at work, and no matter what my producer wants, I'm not getting rid of my unibrow for no one. Got it? Be yourself, be authentic, and your tribe gonna love you even more. <laughs> Number six, you need to stick at it. The latest stats say that there are over 7 billion vlogs started on YouTube every single hour. So competition is fierce. And so any chance of becoming an overnight success have been wiped out. Overnight. So let's take a look at some YouTube royalty and how long it took them to get to the top. Zoella, 6 years, 10 million. Tyler, 8 years, 8 million. Pointless, 6 years, 5 million. Glozell, eight years, four million. And then there's Sug, who's grown to six million in just three years. But he's Zoella's little brother. And on YouTube, just like in real life, a little nepotiz goes a long way. So to make it on YouTube, you're gonna need some blood, sweat, and stick to itiveness. Is that a real word? Number seven, sell some sweet merch. You've put in the hard work, built an audience, now it's time to make some cold hard cash from them. Whether it's the t-shirt off your back, Tickets to your next gig or your very own book. They'll be more than happy to support you. I mean, everyone's got to pay the bills somehow. That should be enough to get you at least halfway up the celebrity ladder. But if you need more tips, make sure to subscribe or to switch the lights off and you'll never see part two. Laters. The bill! Yeah, I thought you said <laughs> in the end of countdown. Did it, did it. Yeah, did it. Don't you know I was born in Sun Hill? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>